The beauty that surrounds us is at a critical point of possible irreversible consequences. The impacts of climate change on land, overhead, and along all 8,436 miles of our beautiful coast are here now. The Florida Peninsula has warmed more than one degree Fahrenheit in just the last century. Rising temperatures across the globe are melting the Earth's ice caps, causing rising sea levels literally in our backyard. The tide gauge right here in St. Petersburg has risen more than an average of 8.5 inches since 1947. As time goes on, the sea level isn't just rising at a uniform rate, it's accelerating. So it's rising faster and faster. And over the next 30 years, we're gonna see another foot. We're talking possible continued rise between 10.9 and 20.04 inches in St. Pete by 2050, according to a federal interagency task force. Anything higher than that will threaten downtown St. Petersburg. Rising sea level submerges wetlands and dry land, erodes our beautiful beaches, exacerbates flooding, which threatens our coastal infrastructure, our roads, homes, businesses, schools, hospitals, the framework of a fully functioning society. High tide flooding may seem like a low impact event right now, but our risk to these events is increasing by the day. We expect that the number of high tide flooding events we're going to see will increase by almost a factor of 10 by the 2030s. Oceans are not only rising, but they're heating up. The climate is changing now at a rate that far exceeds individual species' abilities to adapt or to evolve. And so the, the ability of a species to tolerate higher temperature, different humidity, those types of things is likely not gonna happen. Tiny algae that live inside corals and provide them food are being killed off by rising water temperatures. This loss of algae weakens corals and can eventually kill them, commonly known as coral bleaching, wreaking havoc on the entire marine ecosystem. So we already have about 130 species of all the thousand species we have in Florida that are already threatened with extinction. And about half of those are further threatened by sea level rise. From the small to the very big, rising ocean and air temperatures are making the most dangerous hurricanes even more intense. Our oceans are literally being injected with more fuel for hurricanes to strengthen and strengthen rapidly, leading to an increased threat of catastrophic supercharged winds, higher storm surge that now is reaching farther inland than ever before. Because of climate change, Florida summertime thunderstorms are also more intense. While the amount of rainfall in the state hasn't increased all that much in the last century, when it does rain, it pours. And more rain in a shorter period of time increases the chance for inland flooding. That domino effect works its way through our waterways and back into the ocean. In fact, it's that runoff that picks up the nutrients from the land that can exacerbate harmful algal blooms like red tide. Recently, the governor's task force to address the state's algal bloom crisis concluded that without hard work and careful planning, adverse human health impacts and widespread wildlife mortality would most likely worsen because of climate change and Florida's growing population. The numbers are clear, the earth is hotter. Since 1895, Florida has warmed about 0.2 degrees Fahrenheit per decade, but that rate of warming is increasing. Since 1945, the average temperature in Tampa has increased by over three degrees, with the majority of that warming occurring during the overnights. And here's the thing. Heat is the number one weather-related killer in the United States, with an average of 143 heat-related deaths each year. Latest predictions show that as the Earth continues to warm, that number could increase to 1,000 deaths annually by 2040. Climate change's impact on Florida has already happened, but there's still time to hold back the worst of its potential impacts.